Hey guys, back here with another quick look at the Sony RX100, the latest compact with a 20 megapixel CMOS sensor, one inch, with the 3 to 2 aspect ratio. It's a pretty large sensor compared to the Canon S100, which has, uh, I think, 1 and 1.7. It's a much larger area, similar size. Here on the bottom, we have the compact, the, uh, I'm sorry, the SD card slot and the battery compartment. Now here, I don't like the fact that they use the camera itself as a charging platform. There is no external battery charger for the RX100 that I know of. It would have been nice. It's that way you can have extra batteries on hand charging while you're using the camera. But I guess they probably did that to save on space and one less accessory to lose where you're out in the field. Here on the top, we got the control dials and the power button. Here, activating the Carl Zeiss Vario Sonar T lens. It's a 28 to 100, f1.8 to 4.9. That means after about 29 millimeter, 30 millimeter, it starts to get dark pretty quick. Here we have the 3 inch, 1.2 million plus pixel white magic TFT LCD screen. It's supposed to be pretty good. It's bright and daylight. You're able to see it. Pretty good detail there. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice camera. It does shoot RAW, shoots 1080, 60p, and also takes 17 megapixel, 16 by 9 still images simultaneously as you press the shutter, of course. Uh, it's got 25 focus points, 30 to 1 2,000th of a second. I think it's able to shoot 10 frames per second. There's some pictures here I shot. That's pretty good in low light. Here are the, t the white magic TFT screen. It's pretty sharp. It does have a uh, auto exposure bracketing at the th uh, plus or minus three frames at one third exposure value stops. Uh, shoots video at MPEG-4 or AVC HD with stereo mics does have the wireless iFi connectivity to upload images to your PC wirelessly via Wi-Fi. It's cool here, the menu options here. The thing I don't like about the Sony as much, maybe just because I'm not used to it, is I don't like the menus. It's not very intuitive. You've got to really drill down to get to what you need. Here's the different uh, modes that your camera offers. You know, you got the standard, you know, shutter speed, aperture, blah, 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 scene selection. Sweet panorama, that's pretty cool. You're able to sweep the camera from left to right as it takes the image. I got some samples as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. It's got a lot of high-end features. I think it shoots a uh, three-shot HDR and JPEG. It also has what they call DRO, Dyna Dynamic Range Optimization Mode. Um, it's pretty, yeah, it's a pretty good camera. It's kind of spendy for what you pay. I think it's priced a little higher, and I know I understand why it has a large sensor and all, but there are, are other cameras that are going to be a little more affordable, like the LX7 or the S100. Of course, they don't have the large sensor that this puppy has. This pop-up flash is pretty interesting. It pops up and leans back, so if you want to bounce it off the ceiling, I don't know how much bounce you'd be doing on this tiny, tiny thumbnail flash, but it's, it's a thoughtful feature. So is it worth the premium price tag this uh, commands? I'm not sure. For the same price, you can get an entry-level DSLR with a much larger sensor and a lot more options. But it won't fit in your pocket like this one will. If you guys want to see samples, go ahead and check it out on my Flickr site and let me know what you think. Alright, see ya.